And so it takes a lot in terms of finishing out a thesis or a dissertation because it's up to you. The deadline is up to you. Yes, I had a timeline of seven years. However, the actual progress between my comprehensive exams, which were in April 2019, and my actual prospectus defense, which took place in the spring of 2021, and my dissertation defense, which took place in the spring of 2022, were entirely up to me. I needed to make the progress. I needed to schedule check-ins with my committee members. Now, three of my committee members would check in with me. Two of them, I would check in with them with actual presentations, so PowerPoint presentations, 10 slides that captured what I was working on. Now, towards the end, it became a little lengthy and it was more than 10 slides, but it was so that I can show them what I was doing. So that was for my department chair, who was the co-chair of my dissertation, as well as my off-campus committee member. And so that's how I would talk to them. I would make appointments with them and only ask for 20 minutes of their time. My methodologist actually had a cap of 30 minutes for those who were working on their dissertation. So when I showed up, I had to show up with what I had accomplished so far to say, hey, this is where I am. This is what I'm thinking. What do you think about where I am? And from there, I was able to get feedback and ask questions. A lot of the times it provided an opportunity for me to verbalize where I planned on going outside of my head. Because in my mind, I have this full picture, but I have to be able to communicate that full picture to others. And that actually meant writing it out. So not only did I have these presentations to share, I had the, the writing that went along with those presentations, which were pages upon pages upon pages, but you don't want to ask them to read your 130 pages over and over again. 